Hello, my friends. It's your friendly neighborhood, Tenkaichi. And yeah, changes are happening upon the horizon. For you see, coming up next week is, well, August. So that means a whole lot of things are happening while I'm still doing Let's Plays. Um, for the most part, for one, I hope you're enjoying um, Tecmo Secret of Stars as much as I'm fumbling through it and trying to find some snarky jokes in the, in, in the process. Another thing that's happening, and I'm and I'm kind of working on it in the background, is um. Well, besides what I'm still working on. Is what I'm going to be doing in September, and namely that's going to be. Fire Emblem. Yes, Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. Now, that's not the only thing I am going to be working on while I got the chance to basically work on a lot of parts in between everything else that I'm doing and believe me it's a lot that I'm currently doing I'm still working on Tenchi Muyo um, Bio Miracle Bakute Upa and they're gonna be the weekend let's plays until they're beaten um, I will bring back Marvel Ultimate Alliance as well as Incredible Hulk Ultimate Destruction because, well, it's still summer and, well, Kamehameha isn't going to stop until I've actually beaten something from the comic book part of Kamehameha. I've only taken a short break of it because of, um, well, AX. And then on top of that one, I usually go from comic to manga anime and then I usually take a break and then I come back to it so I am going to be quite busy with everything else that I'm still going through um, I should be done with Dynasty Wars Gundam 2 in say a few days from now actually I'm still recording parts for it I'm going to be finishing up the um, Shark campaign, and then after that, then I'll be jumping over to the other end of the Z of the Seda storyline with Kamiyu, and then the last one is going to be um, Judo in Double Zeta, or or how it's pronounced in in the or how it's pronounced in Japan. Um. Double Z, you know, Double Z Gundam. Or, yeah, Double Zeta or Double Z Gundam. So, after that, then, there's going to be mission mode, and pretty much mission mode is just going to be me just going through a lot of missions and just showing you what it does. And then after that, um, I, then after that, I, I'll pretty much be finishing up Soul Calibur 2 with um, Mission Mode just to unlock the rest of the characters. And I think by then, maybe in between the parts of unlocking characters, I'll just do the rest of the roster. And then after that, you know, I will finish the entirety of the game. Now, I don't, now I, I kind of said this in a future episode of um, of the Let's Play that I was going to do Soul Calibur 3 right after I do Soul Calibur 2. I'm not exactly going to rush right into Soul Calibur 3 per se, but I will be preparing for Soul Calibur 3 when I do it. That means when the next time you see Soul Calibur going up, you know, I, I do say that in pretense of preparing to play Soul Calibur 3. And there goes my phone. And according to my phone, I have emails. And what does this email have to say? Oh, yeah. Okay. 
Uh, it was just from YouTube. Oh. But as I was saying, though, um, I got plenty of projects I'm still doing. So, yes, I will be doing... I, and most of what, what I'm going to be doing is going to be off my 2017 list. My 2016-2017 list. So, therefore, when I do it... You know, I'll, I'll just be recording parts in the middle of everything else that I'm doing. So, for what it's worth, I'll be working on some stuff on the list as well as stuff that's not on the list. So, pretty much after all that, you know, I will be bringing back some of the old school as well as some of the new school into my roster that also means i will be bringing back some stuff that i'm still working on on steam namely tales of symphonia and other such games like i said i've been really busy with um everything else trying to basically get everything in order off off camera you know just working on things get getting parts together and whatnot now, there are going to be some games that, for PlayStation 2, I might consider downloading. And others, I just plan to get on disc because, just to me, it feels more authentic if you just play it straight from the disc instead of getting an ISO of it. Not that I don't mind, but, you know, it's just to me, I like to get that feeling of, you know, enjoying what I like. As well as, you know, the fact that it brings back memories to me. So aside from that, um, like I said, I'll be doing a lot of, a lot of other side projects as well as main projects. And as I mentioned on my, um, on my blog, that I'm going to be bringing back my old format of doing my main LPs four days a week as well as what I'm working on as a secondary say five days a week now you're wondering why I, the main LP is going to be for four days and the secondary is going to be five days because I feel that the secondary I got a lot of secondary, you know, LPs going on. And they're not like the main ones, but they are just, just as important as the main one. But the secondary LPs are, as I said, just as important as the main LPs. And as well as the weekend LPs. Because, for one, my channel has, already, has always been about variety. So, therefore... I'm not always doing the same thing every day. Well, maybe, you know, from parts from parts of the main I'm still doing to secondaries they can they can switch at the drop of a hat. That's 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 gonna be no no different. And like I said, I'm probably going and I'm probably gonna bring back some older ones that you haven't seen in a long time. And I already know where I am in them because I have made a list of what of where I stopped on. So therefore, whatever I stopped on, I'm probably going to do it. And of course, post them when I whenever I do finish finish whatever I need to finish. So that means Bahama Lagoon front mission. Vi, um, and all the rest I have that I don't, that I don't have on hand right now because my um my scheduler is in my bag and I don't feel like opening it up. Just the ones that I'm still working with, even my even the Tenkai project of Earthbound. Yes, that is coming back too. 
So for I'm not gonna apologize for just being sporad sporadic with my let's plays. I'm really not. Because for one, I don't want anybody to be bored with what I'm doing. You know, that that's the whole thing with me. I don't I don't want any of my audience to be bored with what I'm doing. If I'm working on this, that means I'm still working on something else. But I'm trying to put together the time I have to basically make everything work out. So that way, when one Let's Play is over, that means another one is starting up or finishing up. I want to keep the ball rolling, per se. Because it's just as important to make sure that your viewers get what they came for. They want entertainment, so I like to provide the best I can do. And regardless of what is being said, you know, I'm doing what I need to do. Namely, create content and put it on my channel so anybody who is interested in watching, well, they can watch in the comfort of their own home and you know whatever they want to watch feel free to you know whether you're into you know Dynasty Wars you can watch Dynasty Wars even though part of Dynasty Wars got muted out that's okay the rest of it, part of it got muted out for some silly reason probably because of the music so there's nothing I can do about that and I don't feel like trying to re-download it and then try to you know make a new part because it's kind of hard to to make something like that in which the music is just as important as the commentator so nothing I can do about that however Samurai Warriors Samurai Warriors and Dynasty Warriors Gundam are still rather good I mean this is pre I mean this is before you know it, it 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 basically got really really popular so it's only right that I do games that made them popular instead of just you know going to now because it doesn't make sense I mean it kind of makes sense but then again there's some games that don't make sense and coming from my library I got some tiles that really make no goddamn sense whatsoever. I mean, it, it, it really is just something that truly makes no sense in all the sense of the word because I have some tiles that even nobody else has even heard of. And since um, I pretty much got some titles that I'm pretty much going to do in the future I'm I'm gonna leave it as a surprise basically yeah gonna leave it as a surprise because uh, most of them are just waiting <laughs> I mean there's some from NES some from SNES I know I got something I got some for Game Boy I know I got some from Genesis, probably Game Gear. I know I got I know I got some games I need to finish from Dreamcast. Evolution is one of them. I I know that. It's not that I haven't gone back to Evolution. It's just I've been busy with everything else. I was like, well, where I am in Evolution, I'm like right at the end of the game, and I had to basically just be careful when I save. Because one of my saves got corrupted, so I have to be very careful when I save. And then when I'm done with it, cut it off, and then that's it. But, you know, the last save I did on Evolution was on the ship. Just halfway through it, I don't know what happened. It's like when I saved it, it was a... It got corrupted. Just my, just only the third slot got corrupted, but anything else wasn't. So that means when I get back to it, that means I got to basically go through, 
let's say 44 minutes of footage that I made and uploaded and basically have to pick it up from there make sure the save is good because if it ain't we're in trouble <laughs> sorry for that yeah I plan to do the second game as well as the GameCube version of um, the, the GameCube version I also plan to do some more Dreamcast games like say oh Shenmue Skies of Arcadia um um I did Sonic Adventure so doing that would not make sense I've already done Sonic Adventure DX director's cut but still it's it's still Sonic Adventure um since I haven't done anything on anything on the SG radar, you know it better as Shitastic Games. Um, well, I got a request to do Dragon Ball for the NES. Now they did make a now they did make a release of Dragon Ball called Dragon Power. But for all intents and purposes, even though I know it's Dragon Power, I'm going to do the original Dragon Ball with the um, fan translation. Now if I have to, I will I will go for Dragon Power. I think they have another I think they have another version of it called Dragon Ball Dragon Mystery or the Mystery of Shen Shenron or Nozzle no Shinron. Um it's basically just a retell it's just basically the retelling of Dragon Ball and that's all it is. So I'm letting y'all know right now. And when I do it, it will be with cheats. There's a reason for it. There's a reason for it, and I will explain it to you when I actually do it. Now, as for everything else that I'm still doing right now, I will eventually get back to them. I haven't forgotten about them, because, as you well know, I've been busy. <laughs> so... Would it be right for me to share everything else that is that is still going on? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so what I also plan to do, perhaps, uh, if not in August, then most likely it's going to be September. Is going to be Flying Warriors. Now the thing is, I've beaten Flying Warriors during my own time and um, for those who don't know what Flying Warriors is it is the third I believe the third game in the Hero No Ken series because there was the arcade game then there was um, Flying Dragon on the NES and the third is basically two games in one. So it's basically Hero no Ken 2 and 3 put together. I have played Hero no Ken 2 and Hero no Ken 3, which is basically um, five dragon soldiers. If I can, I want to see if I can find um, a translation of both games, if at all possible. Because anybody who's anybody who's ever played Flying Dragon, the Secret Scroll, you have to play the game twice in order to get the real ending, and plus you have to get all of all of the um, scrolls. You cannot miss one, or else you will not get the real ending. It's one of those kind of games. Now, aside from that. 
Um, like I said, we've got lots and lots and lots and lots of projects I plan on doing and bringing them back, as well as what I'm currently doing and just kind of rushing right through them because, you know, the way I the way I'm coming back with is like, okay, I got the time, let me just sit down, get three hours recording done, and boom. Have them set up for whenever I feel like posting them, like say next week. Because I do have like two, two weeks worth of recording done, so that means two weeks of backlog. That means I am going to be working on Secret of the Stars. More of Secret of Stars because the week's almost up. So after this, after this batch from one to well four to four to eight, then I'll be working on say nine to four, nine to say fourteen. And I'm gonna try to basically use a technique, try to use a technique to basically bump myself up to say higher levels to where the game says oh you need to be around this level in order to do this so I'm going to try to basically just speed grind it in such a way that basically next time you see next time you see the next couple of parts I'll be like a few levels higher So it's going to be, it's going to be something different because, you know, it helps if you're, it helps because this, this game is quite hard. So, therefore, yeah, I'm not going to say blame Ryu for it because, you know, I don't mind an RPG with a challenge. And this is one of those challenges that basically says, okay, here we go. So, yeah. But aside for that, I still have. Ooh, dude, it's it's like three o'clock over here, so we don't have skids yawning. Um. So, what's to be expected in the next couple of weeks? Pretty much, still going through a lot of projects. Um. I have a few reviews that I plan on having having done by say next week or so because AX basically just it kind of takes it out of you but at the same time you you feel actually good about it but I think what I'm going to do is um I'm going to drop AX for a while not because I don't like going but you know just to drop it you know just to say Okay, I had enough at AX. I'm just going to do something else. You know, I'm going to go to some other places besides going downtown to L downtown LA, having to deal with over hundred to almost hundred, well, thousands of people, not hundreds, thousands of people, and they're all doing, and they're all going in. And most of them are whining and playing about this one, this one expo. That you know, I can only say, I don't mind going every year. But when it comes down to it, you know, and other people kind of like, they say this is the worst or whatever, whatever. That, that's a matter of opinion. But I like to go there because I like to get away from the house. So when I'm so I'm gonna have to do something else. But that's not here nor there. Don't, so don't worry about it. That'll probably be done in say like a podcast or something like that. I I don't know. I haven't I haven't done the Tenkai talk in a while. So that's like that's something I haven't really done in a while. As long it, that's right up with the reviews. That's right up with um, the chest of obscurity, because I've been so busy that basically, you know, the requests have been growing, and at least more than, at least 
more than one person has requested me to play a few games, which is good. Because it shouldn't be one person all the time. It should be at least two or three people. Maybe four. I don't know. But yeah, I got a few requests I need to get on top of. And basically... I get them done. I can move on. And can you believe it? I'm nearly hitting that 6,000 mark in videos. I'm... I'm inching closer to that 6,000 mark. As well as I'm inching closely to hitting 1,000 subs. And and I have to say, that's totally amazing. I mean, I've been here on YouTube for about 7 years. 10 in total because, well, was it 10? 2006. 2006. Okay. Yeah. 2006 so I was 2017 that's about 11 years but for the most part seven seven years in let's play four years basically just watching videos and that in itself is an achievement I don't I don't I don't ask for anything but you know it's like the the games I get on Steam I consider them a mark of honor because, you know, I got some good friends that basically send me certain games on Steam. Or they or they would probably request a few games on Steam and I take and I take requests as is, you know. Whether you send it to me, I, I look at it as like a future request, but the thing is I don't really do the request like immediately. But it's like, oh, hey, oh, I can do that now, okay. But aside from that, <sighs> it is a lot. I can tell you that right now. It is a lot. And for what it's worth, it's not going to stop for me. I can, I can tell you that right now. This is not going to stop. What I'm doing? Oh no, it's it's definitely not going to stop because you know the video game universe is very vast and is need of picking. And I, for one, wouldn't mind trying to find the few things that most people don't even look at when they play a video game. I mean, come on, man. I'm, I'm a zennial. I'm from I'm from the '80s. <laughs> hey, come on, people. I'm from I'm from the '80s. I mean, video games basically has been a big part of my life, as well as the one person who has basically taught me how to play video games, namely my mother. She she's doing great, by the way. She's we we saw her um, this week. And she is rather quite content when we saw her. But, you know, at least she is in that state in which she, she's not worried about anything. In which she should have been all this time, but, you know, shit happens. Aside from that, she is, she is really doing good. Last time I actually saw her, she was doing therapy. So... It's not like she has not been doing therapy. It's just there are certain days that she'll, that they'll have her do therapy. Otherwise, everything's good. And as I said, she if, if you miss my my um my video with my mom. As I said, she is basically my greatest motivator. She is my greatest motivator because. Through thick and through thin, she has basically been by my side since day one. She has looked out for my best interests. And even when I was in Japan, she went so far as to send me a few manga. When Bonsai Anime, it was a it was a town in it was a store in West West LA. It's it's no longer there now. When it was in when it was in production, she would usually send me like um, 
a volume of Yu Yu Hakusho. Because basically, that, that that's she basically got me on onto reading manga. So, I thank her for that because you know, manga to me is a lot better than reading a comic. Because you have more story to deal with than just like say, fifteen pages. And I like a good novel, so basically, I'm going to read it. You know, I'm a bookworm. So, I started as a bookworm, and I'm an author, and I'm still a bookworm. So, therefore, it's a good thing. It's always going to be a good thing to be a bookworm, to read something, and, you know, just enjoy it for what it's worth. So, I do have, an, I do have another... Um, um, another review that I'm going to be doing is going to be a book review, and it's going to be on a series that I basically am in the middle of finishing up because it's only three volumes, and um, I plan on getting the the game version of it, and and the title of it is called Dororo. Which is spelled D O R O R O, do ro ro. So I will tell you um, a bit of a bit of the story in the review when I come around to doing it. So if I sound far away, I'm sorry. I'm just you know, not really doing much of anything, but I am kind of winding down because it's been a long day. So. Mm. Like I said, I, I got a few things I, I have planned. I got maps I need to get downloaded and uh, more than likely try to finish up as much as I can for Kamika May. And whatever I don't get to, it will most likely still be around. I'll probably do it as a let's play, so don't worry about it. But at least you come on the channel you come expecting with something spontaneous. That's all that matters. As long as you know that it's as what I what I bring to the table, as far as being a less player is concerned, something different and still entertaining at the same time. Well, that's all that matters. So with that, I've been your friendly neighborhood Tinkaichi. Ichigo Musko. And I'll see you next time whenever I feel like seeing you. So until then, take care. God bless. Senpai's blessings upon you, my good people. Thanks for listening and watching. And most likely listening. So until then, see you next game. And Tenkai Muso.